Arc a Dream for Humankind is a Philadelphia-based dance theater company that tells human stories in the medium of blacklight to evoke a dream world. In 2010, we brought our latest show, Inside Out, to the island of Taiwan. Um, we are from America. And we are called Arc a Dream for Humankind. And we specialize in telling stories with our masks. And our bodies. Arc a Dream used five artistic elements within the show to tell the story. Costume and mask design, mask acting, dance, visual projections, and music. These five mediums make ADHK show Inside Out our most artistically collaborative show to date. This particular show was written by me and was about my father. So for you to understand it is so you During our stay at the Dream Community, Arca Dream performed 23 shows, taught 22 workshops on mask making and dance. We were so sad to leave the dream community as it had become our home, but we were about to embark on a new adventure exploring the beautiful island of Taiwan. In our travels, we were to perform inside out to several of Taiwan's 14 aboriginal tribes. Traditionally, dream community has used parades to showcase their artists and uplift the people in celebration of the arts. In this way, the amazement and skills of the ADHD performers in full regalia gives the city a dose of magic and fun. Um, we just totally flooded the streets with like happiness, music, dance, and just like bringing the people out of their houses, and it was just like an arca raid in the streets. It was awesome. To be able to go to some other community yeah. and just lay it out in the street with them and they're rocking and you're rocking and you're sweating together and yeah. you're high-fiving and you're giving them your mask or whatever, grabbing some kid's hand and they're laughing and it's just like, you just go straight to like that bonding moment. Arc a Dream for Humankind performed in many venues throughout Taiwan, but Taitung was the biggest yet. With help from the Dream community, busloads of children from different Aboriginal schools hours away had the opportunity to experience our show. In anticipation of our largest audience of kids yet, we are excited to see the impact of our show and what the interpretation of the story would be to them. We cross cultural boundaries, which is important in the U.S. because we have so many cultural boundaries but the boundaries in this country are different and because we're universal, we can cross them too. And I think that the more we learn about ourselves, the more we can show other people about themselves and that's what Inside Out is about. Out of the 14 tribes that remain recognized in Taiwan, we met members of the Han, Hunan, Yami, Yuan, or Tao, Amis, Piwan, and Atal. Perhaps several other tribes were in the, our audience as well. And how many kids are here today? Today? 
as a, I, I think totally the 1,300 people. Yes. Awesome. That's awesome. So what do you guys want to bring to your last show on this tour? Everything I got, man. Thank you. 